All right, Ed, we've got the Belmont Stakes, got updated fair odds, and tell us who you're seeing favored right now. Well, uh, with some defections and the fact that Forte worked right on schedule, I moved him up not only on my fair odds as the most likely winner, but I do think he'll actually end up being favored. I think the comparisons to AP Indy are definitely going to play on some people's minds and he's going to take money. So as always with fair odds, not really matter to me whether he's favored or not. It's whether he's five to two or not, which is where I have him on my line. I think this is going to be a really interesting board. So with the AP Indy reference, you're talking about a derby favorite that scratched right before the race yep. and won the Belmont. And then came back and won the Belmont and did so impressively. And I think the fact that Mage won the Derby out of the Florida Derby, which is where Forte was, I think that sort of has boosted the the class thought of the horses who are in Florida. So that's going to weigh on people's mind. And Todd Pletcher needs no introduction to the test of a champion. He's won it four times. So in a lot of people's minds, you're right. It's logical that Forte was a favorite for the Derby. He'd beaten Mage. So he would have, could have, should have won the <laughs> Derby. And so he's a the definite favorite for the Belmont. So Okay, now looking at your odds, you've got uh, this as pretty much a three-horse race. Yeah. Uh, how'd you come to that conclusion? Well, I did. Uh, some astute observers may notice that Angel of Empire is one of the bigger drops of this group. And the more I looked, it, it, his consistency is really hard to deny. He won a 50 and 100-point race and then was third in the Kentucky Derby. Really, if you think about all the horses who ran well, uh, throughout the, the spring season and then showed up on Derby Day. He was one of the three. You might say Disarm was fourth, but he needed a lot of help to get in. So for me, that top three was legitimate in the Derby, and he merits a, a little more consideration than I gave him a week ago. And, of course, being trained by Brad Cox, he's never trained better. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> been ultra consistent all winter. And uh, and when I should say a three horse race. That's in terms of the the odds. The odds so yeah. the other uh, piece of the the three is Tappet Trice, and you know we've got the magic of Tappet in the Belmont. So what are your thoughts with him? Well, I don't want to uh, steal some thunder. We're going to have coming from the clouds later this week on some stats we've dug up. But again, Pletcher's won it four times. Tappet has sired four winners, and. The Derby didn't go his way. People, when I said he was my pick, people, oh, what about the start? He's going to have too much to do. And that's exactly what happened. Belmont, a totally different beast with a mile and a half. Not as big a field by a long shot. So he should, in my mind, have a much better run than he got in the Derby. He's going to be awfully tough. All right. And in your on your line, National Treasure is 8-1. to one, So he's a distant fourth <laughs> choice. Uh, why is that? Just figures or yeah I'm, I'm i'm leaning on ragazin in this case and uh thought the preakness set up great for him especially after the scratch of uh, the, the cox trainee who may have taken first run at him belmont I, I just don't see is the same setup uh just between the mile and a half and i expect some other speed in here uh maybe not you know balls to the wall speed but he's going to get challenged a little earlier than he did at pimlico and the numbers wise again just isn't fast enough yeah so overall, decent sized field, three uh, favorites that are kind of hard to separate. We've got a pretty good betting race. Yeah, and I mean, I think National Treasure is going to be well under the odds I have is okay. fair for him. So from that standpoint, that's a takeout reducer. And, you know, you have to gamble a little bit knowing any one of the three I like could win. But I have to think one of them is going to be an overlay. Absolutely. A lot to look forward to just in a week and a half. Belmont Stakes coming up.